In this video I want to give some extra information on chapter 3 of this book about a, a bending moment. And here you see an image of what you usually see in many books that you can visualize a, a bending moment by creating a virtual cut in a product and then this moment has to be larger when this arm gets bigger because of the equality of uh, moments that has to be present in statics. So I can visualize that in SOLIDWORKS simulation here you see what you would normally see as a stress in the x direction so here you see the, the x direction so you see a color plot which doesn't always say everything but when you create a stress plot with vectors which you can do by clicking at a definition and then here you can show something as a vector plot I've already create that, created that plot so here I have it and then you see that the arrows are quite small on the right side of the part because they are only this piece of the the part under stress has to be balanced in moments whereas at this point there has to be a longer distance that has to be balanced in moments so the arrows here are bigger and then you see on the top there is a, a tensile stress and on the bottom there is a compressor stress so these stresses get higher when the part gets longer and I've created a video of this here you see it that when when a part bends due to in this case a force that the the arrows at the top have to become longer and the arrows at the, the bottom have to become uh, longer as well but then in the negative direction so this is compressor stress over here and this is tensile stress over there so that's a, a, an easy way or maybe a, a, a clearer way of visualizing a bending moment than just simply a color plot that you see in most finite element software packages so thanks for watching.